In this lecture, we are going to learn how to create a DHCP reservation. We are going to create a reservation for our Windows 10 workstation with an IP address of 192.168.0.113. In order to create the DHCP reservation, we will need to have our domain controller and Windows 10 VMs powered on. The first step is to grab the MAC address from our Windows 10 workstation and then we will be ready to create the reservation on our DHCP server which is ITFDC01. Next we'll configure the Windows 10 VM to use DHCP for a second networking adapter and see if it grabs the IP address we reserved for it. Start by logging on to your Windows 10 VM. Open command prompt by clicking the Windows button and searching for CMD. Start command prompt by selecting it in the list. We can grab the MAC address of our VM by typing the get MAC command, or G-E-T-M-A-C command. Notice that there are two MAC addresses presented. This is because we are using two network adapters. We can figure out which MAC address belongs to which networking adapter by looking at the advanced settings of our VM network configuration. On the VM window, click Machine and Settings. Click the Network tab and select Adapter 2. Expand the Advanced drop-down list and look for the MAC address. Now we can see that the MAC address listed here matches that of the second MAC address listed in Command Prompt. This is the MAC address we'll use to create our DHCP reservation because this is the MAC address of the networking adapter that is attached to the same host-only network that our domain controller is using. Click OK to close the Settings window. Switch over to our DHCP server, which is ITFDC01, and open the DHCP management console by opening Server Manager and selecting Tools, DHCP. Expand our server and expand the IP version 4 and our scope, and right click on the Reservations tab and choose New Reservation. For the reservation name, I'm going to enter the computer name ITFWS001. Now I'm going to enter in the IP address that I want this computer to receive, which will be 192.168.0.113. For the MAC address, I'm going to enter the MAC address that we got from the Windows 10 workstation by entering the get MAC command. For the description, I'm going to enter ITF Workstation 001. For the supported types, we're going to leave the default checkbox both checked. You might be wondering what the Boot P option is, so let me explain it. Boot P or Bootstrap Protocol was designed to dynamically assign IP addresses when computers booted up or powered on. Boot P is also capable of pointing the client computer to an image file containing operating systems. Unlike DHCP, BootP can only configure the TCP IP settings when a client computer was booted and not while it was already booted to Windows or while it's up and running at the desktop. Click the Add button, then click Close. We can now see the new reservation listed. If we right click on the new reservation, we can configure the reservation, delete it, or edit its properties. You can also double click on the reservation and see the settings for the router, DNS servers, and domain name. Note that you cannot configure these settings here, but you must change them by right-clicking on the reservation and selecting Configure Options. Let's switch over to our Windows 10 VM and switch the IP configuration to DHCP and see if it grabs the new IP settings we reserved for it. Log into the Windows 10 VM. And when the desktop fully loads, click the Windows button and search for Network. Click the Network and Sharing Center when it appears. Select Ethernet 2 and choose Properties. Double click IP version 4 and check the Obtain an IP slash DNS address automatically checkboxes. Click OK and close all of the network windows. Now open Command Prompt by pressing the Windows key and searching for CMD and run the IP config command. Here we can see our Windows 10 VM has received the IP address that we reserved for it in DHCP. Now let's switch back over to our DHCP server and see what's changed in the management console. Navigate to the Address Leases tab. 
Notice we can now see our workstation is listed. Also notice under the lease expiration, we see it says reservation active. Now you know how to create a DHCP reservation. Great job learning that and I will see you in the next lecture.